from Houston, Texas. Welcome, Miranda Alizé. And her opponent, from San Antonio, Texas, Alex Gracia. Alrighty, and we are jumping right back here into the action for match number three. This is going to be Alex Gracia versus Miranda Alizé. And I'm a little bit interested to see how this goes between these two ladies because they're both mainstays here at Ladies Night Out and Ladies Night Out Underground. And of course, as soon as I say that, we have Alex Gracia nailing Miranda Alizé these shots. And this is really not the way I thought this would go. I definitely would have called it being the other way around here. All ready for the clothesline. I guess Alex is just not playing. Now, this is not the first time Alex and Miranda have stepped into the ring with one another. In fact, the last time these two ladies met, Miranda actually got disqualified for using a chair against Alex because clearly she couldn't win on her own. Get her off the rope, get her off the rope. And of course here we're seeing a little bit of that, you know, toughness that obviously got her disqualified last time that sometimes it's like she can't reel in that anger that she has, um, that she has just kind of pent up and clearly that's, oh, I say that. We have Alex again on top of Miranda. She is not playing. I guess she's kind of holding a little bit of a chip on her shoulder from last time these two met. And of course, we're sitting in here, these ladies just going kind of back and forth, arm drag shots, whatever they can get in. Obviously, they're not holding it down because I think both of them really go for that arm there. Alex is just on and on and on it. They are not playing around. They know they have a double shot of pay, but also a little bit of a vendetta against one another for sure. Alex Gracia here hitting that drop kick, hoping for a one, two, three early. It only gets the one there. Miranda's very tough, so it's definitely gonna take a lot more than a few shots, a few drop kicks, a few drop toe holds. It's definitely gonna take more to get her out of the game. But that's not keeping. Uh, that's not gonna keep Alex from from trying. That's for sure, and that's definitely okay. I like I like seeing this fiery side of Alex because. You know, she is a mainstay here. She's one of the yeah. fan favorites. Yeah. Ooh, Miranda going for that shot there. Handful of hair. Um, but I was saying, Alex, you know, she's she's a fan favorite. She's bubbly. She's sweet. She gets along great with the fans and a lot of other wrestlers. But clearly tonight, she's a little bit different than the Alex we normally see. You know, the fun, pleasant girl from San Antonio, Texas. which really is totally okay if she wants to keep up with Miranda, who, you know, Miranda is actually on her home turf here. She is from Houston. So I think that is what gives her a little bit of that edge, a little bit of that extra confidence that she always seems to have in the ring. And it's definitely something she's doing here, driving those shoulders, you know, into Alex, just kind of not caring how much she beats her down as long as she knows she's staying on top. And here she is again, Miranda, just literally just choking, does not care, not giving any regard to the ref whatsoever. And may I mention, this is not related whatsoever, but all three ladies have such a beautiful hair in this match. I mean, even the referee, all three of them just matchy matchy, so cute. Oh, and Miranda going for that three, unsuccessful here. But it doesn't really look like that slowing her down anyway. I don't think she cares. I think she's just going to keep hammering it in. She knows that she has been working her butt off. She has been asking for Thunder Rosa, in fact, in the ring. And here she is, probably in her mind, stuck with Alex Gracia again. So I believe uh, probably what her, her way of thinking, the way she's acting in the ring right now, it's probably making her think that she's sending a message to Thunder Rosa, letting her know, like, hey, this is you later on tonight. doesn't matter if I win or lose this one. I've still got you. I still got your number. And this is what I'm going to do to you. I just know that's what's going through Miranda's mind right now. She is, you know, using this as a pawn, as a mind game for her match later on tonight. But, hey, that's okay because do not count out Alex Gracia. Here she is going for that pin. Taking off to the ropes now, here with a sunset flip, going for another pin right here in the row. Ooh, the referee was a little bit slow on that one. I know that definitely is going to take a toll, and it did. It took a toll immediately. I don't think that Miranda would have been down for a three, but it definitely would have helped having her down for at least a two there for sure for Alex. And here, of course, we have Miranda just literally toying with Alex. She just doesn't care. Like... This is what is so interesting about Miranda is she is a fantastic athlete. 
She knows what she is doing, but she also knows how to play these mind games, and it's very evident in the things that she does in the ring. Come on, come on. Even here where, you know, she's she's got her opponent on the ropes, literally choking the air out of her, wearing her down every way she knows possible, and literally leaving it to the very last count that she can legally here in this match because I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to get another disqualification. Get her out of the corner. Come on. And, you know, speaking of the bad girls here of Ladies Night Out, we also saw Miranda joining up with Eva Lee after a huge main event at Ladies Night Out eight which was a little bit interesting for i think everybody watching and then she goes on to tear down the house against jordan grace and ladies night out nine so she's proving herself over and over that it's clearly not the issue it's just that attitude that we keep seeing coming back over and over again where she is getting these dqs you know she is kind of pushing the limits but at the end of the day, she does want her hands on Thunder Rosa. And these are some of the tacks that she's going to have to pull out because Thunder Rosa is no stranger to doing these things herself. Now we have Alex here obviously fighting for a chance to stay in this match. But she is clearly just getting worn down beat after beat here with Miranda. You really got to, I mean, you really got to just feel bad and kind of feel the pain that Alex is going through right now. fighting for a chance to stay in this match, but she is clearly just getting worn down beat after beat here with Miranda. You really gotta, I mean, you really gotta just feel bad and kind of feel the pain that Alex is going through right now. Even though she's getting worn down, you can see that little bit of fight coming back here in Alex. I mean, she had that kick out there. Now she's even those hits to the stomach and oof. And of course, Miranda hitting her there over the top of the head to keep her down. But at least we still have that life and that hope there here in Alex. And I know a lot of fans are going to want to see that here. Oh, and she goes for the roll up here. Maybe this is it. This could be the one, two, three. And the inside cradle did not pay off this time. But here she goes behind. Clearly going for another move. Wanting maybe another shot, another hit. Here we go. Right, I think Allie's got a little bit of that fire back that she's been hoping for, that we've been hoping for watching. You know, going for the kicks, going for these hits. She's definitely trying to get her fire back here against Miranda and hopefully pull out a win. And we got Alex here. Oh, hitting a nice 619 and going up atop the ropes for a... Wow, that was nice. Going for a little bit of a flipping splash. I'm not even sure what this is called, but we, of course, now see Miranda grabbing the rope here. Very quick thinking on her part. Really good ring awareness as well. And that ref, too, catching that. But I know that's exactly not what Alex wanted with that high-risk move she just pulled off. I think she was definitely looking for the win there. And we got Miranda. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Get up, that Uh, going for a shot and a miss. Miranda really missing the spot there. I think she was going to go for that head kick after that RKO. Really looking for the win. And oof. Oh my God. I'm watching this and I'm just like, it's one hit after the other. And then she just clocks Alex there right in the face with her knee. I think this. Wow. That was impressive. Alex, I mean, I give it to you, girl. That was impressive. I think I would have stayed down for that one. And I think Miranda was really thinking that she had the win there. And of course we see her going now to the outside of the ring. And of course, she's going for that chair. This is that hot headed, that red hot temper we were talking about earlier where, you know, sometimes Miranda just doesn't know how to reel it in. She doesn't know how to pull it in here. And she's going for these shots. And referee, please get this under control. She has literally gone for several shots here right in a row against Alex again, just like she pulled out before the last time these ladies met in the ring. Thank God, okay, the ref, the ref has got it. The ref has got it. Now we got Alex kind of sneaking at the back here. What does she go? Oh, she's going for a roll-up. Okay, ref, ref, ref. Let's see what she does. One, two, and three. Alex wins again over Miranda. And again, because she brought a chair the winner of this match, Alex Gracia! This time, Alex got a clean one, two, three over Miranda. So, congratulations, Alex. 
You definitely deserved it again against Miranda, but do not count her out. Miranda, you will see her again tonight, but against Thunder Rosa. So let's see how that turns out.